here at Stevie Dairy Berry. Today, I'm gonna make a blueberry pie. I made this crust last night, the dough, and I'm gonna roll it out. I have this piece of parchment that goes on top of it to keep it from sticking to the rolling pin. Every now and again, I'll pull back the parchment and I'll attach the dough to itself so that it doesn't crack and split. If you don't have any parchment or any of these um, pieces of paper that come in a, like a frozen crust, if you had bought in a frozen crust before, I saved these little pieces of parchment that they come in and it comes in handy to roll out a crust. But if you don't have one, just put a little flour on your rolling pan to keep it from sticking. I'm rolling from the inside out. You know when it's big enough, if you can turn your bowl upside down on it, and it's about two inches larger than the bowl. My crust is big enough. I take off the parchment now, and I'm gonna use this really cool tool to scrape it up, loosen it up. If you don't have this cool tool, you can use a spatula. Now I'm gonna put it into the pie tin. Fold it in half, plop it in, open it up, and let it settle. Now I'm just going to crimp the edges using my two fingers here and my one finger here. Now I'm going to poke it with the tines of a fork and put holes in the bottom and I'm going to freeze it for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and bake it. In order to keep the blueberries from getting moldy and growing bacteria, you want to clean them by putting them in, um, I use two cups of vinegar and some plain water and I'm going to dip them in there and let them rinse off for a little while, maybe a minute and I'll rinse them in fresh water. So I've rinsed the blueberries a couple times in clean water, got all the vinegar off. Now I'm gonna just put them on a kitchen towel and let them dry. Tip this down so you can see. I'm putting them on a dark towel because blueberries will stain a white towel. There they are, a towel full of nice clean blueberries. Next I'm gonna make the glaze that's gonna go around the blueberries. So I have a saucepan, gonna put in my sugar. That's I think like a third a cup of sugar. I have three tablespoons of cornstarch. I have a little bit of salt, half a teaspoon of salt. And then I put in three quarters cup of filtered water. And whisk it all together. This is a whisk. After I whisk for a second, I'm gonna add a third a cup of the fresh blueberries. gonna get all blended together and bubbly and thick. So the glaze, I don't know if you can see, is all thick and kind of magenta colored. Now I'm gonna just add a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna mix it in while it's hot. Now it's time to bake the crust because we're not gonna bake the blueberries. We're just gonna bake the crust. I have this rumpled up piece of parchment. I'm going to put it in the bottom and coat it with beans to weigh it down and then bake it. On a cookie sheet and into the oven for 25 minutes. Now it's time to whip the cream. You can do this ahead of time. So I have a cup of heavy whipping cream and a quarter cup of powdered sugar. It's always best to put your beaters in the freezer first so they're nice and cold. And I had my whipping cream in the freezer for five minutes so it was super cold. Now I'm just gonna whip it till it's nice and firm. I have this great container that has a little lid on the top that lets you kind of make sure the cream doesn't spray out everywhere. It's getting really thick. You'll know it's done when it peaks. 
when you can stick your finger in or a spoon in and you can see it leaves little waves that stay up. See? It's ready because it stays put when you touch it. So the crust has about 10 more minutes to cook, but I'm going to expose the center by taking out the weighted beans. So I'm just going to lift the parchment, take it out, and I'm covering the crust edges with this hot silicone that's supposed to keep it from burning. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for just a few minutes. Alexa, set a pie crust timer for 10 minutes. Pie crust timer, 10 minutes, starting now. All right, it's time to make the insides. So I've got my jellified gel stuff, and I've got my washed berries that have been dried. I'm going to add the gel to the berries. I'm going to sneak a bite, because I can. Mmm, really good. I'm going to go wash my hand first before I stick it back in. My pie crust is all cooled, so I'm going to put the coated berries into the pie crust. Ooh, yeah. Oh, looks so good. What do you think of this, Mr. Blueberry in the blueberry pie? I really like beating the pie. Put me back. Put me back. No. Now that the berries are in, I'm going to coat the whole thing with the whipped cream we made a few minutes ago. Now I'm going to refrigerate it. It's so pretty. What am I going to do with this whipped cream left on my finger and the spatula? I'm going to eat it. That is what I'm going to do. Now it's time to cut the blueberry pie. Let's see how it looks inside. Mmm, that looks beautiful, don't it? 